What's up guys? So I wanted to show you one knot that I've been using for a few years and this is one that you have to know. It's called a T-knot. So let me go and show it to you right now. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna show you right now is a T-knot. And what how we're gonna start it is you make a loop like this. All right? And then you do an overhand knot. It's just a simple overhand knot. But instead of just doing it once, we're gonna do it maybe three, four times, and this depends on how long you want the T to stick out. And that'll make sense in a little bit. And I'll usually do maybe three times. So it's like that, right? And then we cinch it down here. until it becomes nice and tight. So that is our T portion of the knot. And then you get the tag end and the other end and you pull on it diagonally. From here, we're gonna make another loop like this. And then we're gonna start to wind itself. And this one I'll probably do six times or so. And then from there, you see we've made a loop within a loop, right? Oops. We made a, made a loop within a loop and then from here you stick that T and in, and this is kind of the tricky part, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. It looks like this, right? So from here, you wanna keep cinching it in nice and tight, but you wanna make it as close to that first knot that we made. And then sometimes people will wet it to make the line slide better but you make it as close as you can. And what happens is eventually it cinches down and you make a small T. So here's an example of it right now, right? When you hold the line suspended, hopefully this T should hold it away, away from your main line. And now the versatility of it is you can easily just switch out your hook if this is too big or too small for like a different size. Right? So you can change hooks out easily if your bait is too, or if your uh, target fish is too big, they have small mouths, or if you're looking to get like a larger fish, then you can switch the hook out really, really quickly. Now, the other cool part about it is, right now you have a dropper loop, right? You can, You can cut the end and then you have a really long T. So say you wanna put a hook, but it's too close. You wanna you want to make the presentation look more natural. Then we can hold it out farther away from, from the main line versus it being really close to the main line. Right. So I hope that helps. Um, this is something that I'm using pretty consistently right now to put maybe some cut bait on here or a small squid. And the presentation just looks really nice. And uh, I've caught a, several fish. So 
um, with it. So uh, try it out. Hopefully you guys can uh, see the benefit of, of learning. Oh, let's focus learning the T. Okay.